It is not a glamorous job. Not that a dirty job is uncommon at the landfill, but this one is unique. So we're hand sorting trash that's coming here to the Iowa City Landfill and Recycling Center. Brent was contracted by the Iowa DNR to lead a waste characterization study. See what types of recyclable materials are still showing up here at the landfill. He goes to 10 different sites across the state, spending a week at each one, sorting garbage into 60 different categories. So we've got about eight different types of paper. We probably got close to 10 different types of plastic. They break up the loads by residential, commercial, and industrial trash. Many different types of metals, organic materials, glass. This provides the landfill with some much needed information. The data that we get from the waste characterization studies over the years have helped determine what programs and waste reduction projects that we'll work on next. The last one was done six years ago in 2011. The two big ticket items were food waste, which was 15%, and cardboard, which was 12%. So those are two areas that we've really focused on over the past five or seven years. That prompted the city to enact food waste reduction and curbside composting programs. And there are more changes on the way. So we are working on a cardboard ban. We'll be taking that to council very soon. Um, that, will, that will ban cardboard from going into the landfill. So it will essentially have to be recycled. So that'll be a huge chunk of what's going into the landfill. So how much garbage does it take to get a good sample? We're doing 50 samples at each site. And each sample is between 200 and 220 pounds. That's over 10,000 pounds of trash that needs sorting. Aluminum cans, plastic bottles. After each load is sorted, with water bottles, tea bottles, they tally the numbers. Each container has a different type of material. That is weighed, uh, and that is recorded on our waste data sheets. It's not an easy task, but the results are worth it. It's pretty gross, but it yields really good data. For Brent, this stinky job is also a rewarding one. There's still opportunity out there, and there's still good quality recyclables that could be diverted, is what we're finding. And when the study is released this fall, it'll give the landfill an idea where to focus its attention next. This is really good for the landfill to see big picture what we need to work on reducing and keeping out of the landfill.